Hello. Welcome to my first video tutorial of Blender, and a little bit of Unity. I will show you how to model a very basic character from the scratch. In next tutorials, we will add texture, rigging, and we will animate the character, to import it to Unity. The character that we are going to model is the Snow Golem, a very simple character. Three cubes and two sticks. It is a character from the Swedish game Minecraft, a video game which has become hugely popular over the last couple of years. Let's model it. The 3D software we will use, is Blender 2.66. Doing click out of the main screen, it disappears. We can see that there is a cube by default. Blender is one of the few 3D softwares, which has a primitive object created by default. Cool! We have already done the first element of the character, doing nothing. Just two cubes left. There are a lot of video tutorials in the internet, showing the basic tools in Blender. I will show you a little bit of them. Holding down the middle mouse button, you can rotate the general view. Not the cube, but the view of it. Also, you can scroll the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. You can select an object by doing right mouse button on it. And if we want a duplicate of this element, press Shift E. We have to press Escape key, to drop the duplicated object. Now, we can move it by clicking on an axis. I have clicked the blue axis, Z axis, to move it up. If I click on the green axis, it would move the object just in the Y axis. If you click out of the axis, you can move the object in a random position. Let's move it up. We can see that the character has a cube in the middle with a little smaller size. So, we have to scale this cube for doing it smaller than the first one. Press S key for scaling, and move the mouse. I think it's good now. Let's move again the cube down in the Z axis, the blue arrow. We can see that the cube is selected, because it has a yellow borders. We can duplicate it once more, by pressing Shift E. Drop the cube with the escape key and move it in the Z axis. And scale it to making it a little bigger. We have done the basic body. Now we will do the arms. How can we do the arms? We can duplicate a cube. For one of the head, for example, Shift D for duplicating. We grab it now in the X axis. But now, if we press S key, the object will be scaled in the X, Y and Z axis. If we scale in the Z axis, Pressing S key and then Z key, it will scale the object just in the Z axis. But if we press S key, and then Shift Z, it will scale the object in every axis except in the Z axis. That is what we need. We move it in Z and X axis. Now, a little bit bigger. By pressing Shift D, we duplicate this arm.
Another important key in Blender is R for rotate. We are going to rotate the arm in the green axis, so we use the combination R and Y. We rotate it 22 degrees. If you want it to rotate a specific value, you can type it. We rotate the second arm minus 22 degrees in the Y axis. We can see that the arms are located in the middle of the second cube. So, we will move the arms down. To moving both arms at the same time, we have one of these selected, and by holding down shift key, we select the other one with the right mouse button. Now we can move them down in the Z axis. That's it. We have modeled our character. Very easy. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial, in which we will texturize our 3D character. Bye.